that talk. Up. Up. Out of bed. Now, make your friend. Man, how can I sleep with all this noise? Always carry an automatic cert. That way, when you press on this... <sighs> Someone is sleeping in your bed, said to Mommy Bear in a middle-sized voice. Yes. Well, who is he? Certainly. Uh, whoever he is, he definitely leaves the windows open, and the air comes in, and it's getting cold in here. Yes. But, um, who is he? That's Goldilocks, you fool. Don't you ever read anything important? Oh, yes. I forgot I'd better go cover him up. Yes, sir. Now then, Madrid, three o'clock in the morning is where you are. Who and what are you? Rianzi. Stop mumbling and speak up. Rianzi. I don't know. What brings you to our secluded cottage in the forest, sir, in the middle of the night with a gun in your hand? It was a mistake, I believe. All right, sit down. Uh, why was it a mistake? Because now, without the gun, I cannot make a deal. Well, that's as hip as you're going to get this year, you know. Uh, but you tried. You would not do it. Mm -hmm. He's probably right. You know that. Yes. I think we ought to get a little fuzz up here for this gentleman to haul him off. Yes, indeed. Wait. My name is Friedrich Rienzi. Officially, I'm dead. You're kidding. Well, I must commend you, sir, on the fact that you move very well for a dead man. Uh, this is room uh, 233, please. We'd like to have a couple of cups of coffee black right away. How do you like your coffee? A little sugar. Put a little sugar in for the dead man. A little sugar for the dead. Uh, 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 one of them with sugar. Uh, three all together. Uh, one with sugar, okay? Thank you, dear. Sir, about this remarkable statement you have made about your being dead and everything, is that wishful thinking or what? It was the last 20 odd years. We committed suicide. Our bodies were burned. The scars scarcely show, sir. Who? The administrators of the death camp. In Germany? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were one of the administrators? Yeah. You see, the body identified as me was not mine. I put things on the body that... I'm sorry for what I did. Sorry does not do a thing for us. Sorry does not mean anything. You see, Kelly and I have talked about what we would do if we ever ran into one of you, you see. And so the moment is here. I was ordered. I was just following orders. Now, did you get anything out of that? No, nothing. Cut it off. All right. State your, your, your piece, your speech, or whatever you have to do here. Your army was close. And we believed that they would execute us if they found us, or, or pursue us if we fled. So, some created a, a mass suicide, a charade. We had plenty of bodies for our purpose. We dressed them in our uniforms. 
So, for the last 20 years, I have been dead. The past, however, as a way of catching up, yeah? I am prepared to deliver myself to you as agents of your government. And in return... Who said we were agents? It was said. You want to deliver yourself up to us for... for what? Sanctuary from one who will kill me if you do not protect me. I will show you. Hold it, sweetheart. Where is it? Yeah, shirt pocket. You're going to be kidding. Who is that? She will be my murderer. A ten-year-old child. It's a coffee. Come on in. <laughs> I'm telling you, now, you can get upset with if you want to, but the department wants us to follow through on it. That's wonderful. Listen, just treat it like a job. Finish it and get rid of it, right? That's right. The doctrinational manual says on page 14, if I recall correctly, do not get emotionally involved. All right, then don't get involved. Just keep you cool. <sighs> well, I'll tell you something, Polly. My dad was stationed in Germany after the war for about a year. He was practicing law for the army. We lived there while I was in my teens. We used to have the most marvelous times on Sundays. We would take excursions down the Rhine with the castles on one side and pine trees on the other and the birds. It was really just the most lovely sort of fairyland existence you could think of. And then one day he had to go down uh, on business, he had to go down to a little town. I forget the name. It's not a board, a little place called Dachau, I think. It's practically forgotten now. It's a little... Uh, but it was weeds growing all over the place, and the barbed wire was all rusty, and the bricks were falling out of the ovens. And he had to check some records out for the army, and I went down with him. And just so I wouldn't forget it, he showed me the records, because they were still very much intact. I was 14, and I haven't forgotten. Well, anyway. I get a little twisted on the subject, man. I'm sorry, but that's it. Now, where do we go from here? Well, the department has a file on me, and the thing was marked closed. They really thought the guy was dead. He was a transportation and logistics expert, coordinated arrival times with empty ovens. What have been doing all afternoon? Well, this part of it wasn't difficult. Uh... The get-up she's got on has got to be some kind of show business, I figured, and uh, sure enough, it was. I checked it out with a bunch of people, and it uh, turns out that she's part of an act, mother and daughter. They work at a little nightclub around here called Las Brujas to come on someplace between the flamenco dancers. What do they do? Tell me, Lino, what is the young man wearing, Charles? He is wearing tight blue pants, like American cowboys wear, and nothing else. <laughs> is that correct, madam? It's my son. <laughs> my daughter will now demonstrate the amazing powers which have confounded experts. Please, any of you, if you know the Bible, the Old Testament or the New, just tell me what chapter and what verse, and Leno will quote it for you. Senora, the book of John, six chapters, 12 verse. The book of John, 6th chapter, 12th verse. Then, when they all had enough, he told his disciples, Gather up the pieces that are left, so that nothing may be wasted. <laughs> Anyone else? Anybody? A play, perhaps. Shakespeare. Perhaps someone would like Leno to quote Shakespeare? Here. 
Right here. Okay. Uh, Coriolanus, his speech to his mother, uh, act two. No, act four. That's even harder. Okay. Coriolanus, his speech to his mother in act four. Come, leave your tears, a brief farewell. The beast with many heads butts me away. Nay, mother, where is your ancient courage? You were used to say extremity was the trier of spirits. The common chances, the most common men could bear. But when the sea was calm, Watch it! The noble cunning, he used to load me with precepts that would make invincible the heart conned in them. Io te ha dicho on the stand of the vessels. Yo no sé por qué el matiero un balazo. No tengo idea quién será. De veras, no sé. She keeps saying she doesn't know who, what, or where. That's what she's saying. She does. Señor. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry, Mama. <laughs> May I uh, offer you a drink? A brandy, please. How you doing? My name's Scotty. I'm Leno. Listen, you sure do know your Shakespeare. If you name an act, and a scene, and a play, I can say it for you in English, in German, and in Spanish. Uh, well, I mean, how did you get to memorize all that stuff? I do it. That is all. Hello. How are you? Fine. Okay. Lena. Yes, Mama. Remember, Lena. Yes, Mama. What did you want her to remember? What do you want? Well, for openers, I uh, would like very much to know uh, why did that man want to kill you? Do you by any chance know a man named Rienzi? I have nothing to say to you. Rienzi is dead. He died early this morning. How? He was shot. Murdered. 
Yes, that would be the way he would have to die. It was the same man who tried to kill you. Yes, I believe that. Now, this Rienzi, uh, early this morning, he came to us. He came to you? Why? Well, I imagine he thought we could protect him. Who are you? I'm just the guy that tried to keep you from getting shot. No, I believe you are more than that. I like you. You saved my life. And now you are going to give me a lot of money. Very much money. Lino, you are sleepy, Angel? Yes, Mama, I am sleepy. Why are we going to give you a great deal of money? Hmm. You will see. Yeah, but why? What for? Because what Rienzi knew, I know. And that is worth a great deal of money. Come, Angel. Come. Well, seashells by the seashore. It's funny, I can remember it. I can see it. But I cannot say it. <laughs> well, Stand still. Don't move. Don't die. <laughs> Are you sure? Nothing hit you, huh? Come with me. Listen, wait a minute. Who are these men and what do they want? Me. Again. Israeli passports. Lev Ben Yurt and Tedder Barshad. There's nothing else. Nice names, nice names. Eichmann was my friend. Eichmann. They say he killed a million people, hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darling, darling. <laughs> he was my very good friend. She has one dreadful flaw. She loves no one. Nothing moves her. What do you expect? She has me for a mother. You will learn to hate me, I guarantee it. I was mistress once to a young man. Not unlike you. A little taller, I think. He had cropped hair. But what do you expect? I'm not like the others. I didn't throw back my head and suck in the gas. I didn't die, I didn't burn, I lived. Life is sweet, my darling. I prefer to sip chocolate on the Kurfürstendamm or to be loved by a young man with cropped hair to being shoveled in a pit. Make what you wish of it. You said something about uh, we were going to give you a lot of money. Why? Because you are who you are. If Rienzi came to you, you must have connections. You an agent, Liebchen? Of course you are. Listen to me. There are 26 like Rienzi. I guess you would call them war criminals. From the death camp. Death camps, yes. With functions of all sorts. Some selected who was to die tomorrow. Some disposed of the clothing. Some extracted the gold. Well, killing millions of people is not an easy thing. Bookkeeping, forms, repairmen, chemists. Gas pipes get out of order, just like plumbing. Let's get on with it. Twenty-six of them. Twenty-six of them. And I know them all, all of them. Their names, their aliases, their countries. And it's all for sale, all of it. 
I think that I will want $100,000. Well, that's not too much to ask, is it, Sharp Face? Well, you get the picture, Hobie? Yeah, I believe I do. All of a sudden, everything is closing in 20 years later. This guy, uh, what's his name, Rienzi? He wants to make a deal. She wants to make a deal. You frightened, sweetheart? Yeah, Liebchen. Of whom? Well, you saw them. Yes, we saw them. Inside a cabaret and then out in the street. I'm still alive, and you are going to make me very rich. Israelis. Is that who's trying to kill you? Or could it be your friends, you know, who found out that uh, deals are starting to be made? $100,000. Yeah. Well, we would have to find out about that. As soon as possible. Now. All righty. Now. to make a phone call. Only 50,000. Oh, no, no, that's not nearly enough now. It was a definite take it or leave it, lady, as my instructions. Get new instructions, call them back. Let's get out of here. Yes. Go. Wait. All right, where's the list? Oh, Liebchen, Liebchen. Do you think I'm foolish? I want to see that beautiful money first. <laughs> This is Sister Agatha. Uh, Sister Agatha is from the convent of Our Lady of Grace, which is where you're going to stay. I will be your teacher in Spanish and French. I speak Spanish and French. She knows German too, Sister. Oh? And she knows the Bible. Oh, that's nice. That's very good, Leno. Well, she knows all of it, really. I mean, even everything by heart, the Old Testament, the New Testament. She knows every chapter, every verse, every word. I do. Well, at our convent of Our Lady of Grace, we have fun. Are you going to like it, Leno? How long will I have to stay? Well, it's, uh, it's hard to say, actually, because, well, after last night, uh, uh, you know, when, when the police left... A man came into the room and shot my mother. The police said that uh, they thought that it would be best if you stayed at the convent because... Uh, I can see that. No one else wants me. Well, now, Sister Agatha wants you. All of the sisters do. And the children. We sing a lot, and do you know, you could learn to play the horn. What about you? Well, uh, I, I want you, but uh, I mean, Kelly and I, uh, we, we're going to be leaving Madrid soon, see, and uh, we can't take little girls with us. Oh, I see. I'll tell you, we'll go to your room and pack. Then Mr. Scott and Mr. Robinson will ride with us to the convent. And then you'll see all the children. I won't know what to say. I haven't spoken much to children. Well, the first thing you can say is when you see them, hello, children. <laughs> you know, and take it from there. Hey. Finish your milk. about an hour then, gentlemen. Thank you, sister. Boy, you know, old Leno, she's gonna be 
turning that convent upside down, teaching the sisters a few things. Uh-uh. No, sir. Afraid not. You know, after the police left last night, I asked her if she wanted to say a prayer, and she said she didn't know any. Now, here's a girl who knows the Bible backwards and forwards, word in and word out, and she still doesn't know how to say a prayer. What are you doing? Have you got that new gun silver thing? You're just going back to your old Lone Ranger days. You got a gun with the action so fast, if your stomach growls, you're going to blow your nose off. Oh, yeah, but you got to remember, from now on, you see, once we have this gun, every time we walk away from a case, you know, into the dusk, people be turning to each other and say, why, Martha, do you know who that was? Well, I don't know, Thurman. They all look alike to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Ramsey, I don't understand why he, he said that Leno killed him. Now, what, what is that? Oh, man, I don't know. If, uh... We'd know a lot of things more if we knew where some of the ciphers were buried that we've been ringing up. Guinness? I'm an honor, senores. See? Si. Mostly now, Rienzi was afraid. Right. He had reason to be. He was walking in the Valley of the Shadow. Oh, no, man, I refuse. Hi, that's, that's the last straw. I am so sick and tired of people popping in and out of my room, waving guns around and all that stuff. Get out. Get up. Yeah, certainly. Well, since you put it that way, actually, I won't be impolite. Obviously, you're here on some kind of business, which to you seems important. But it's about as far as I'm going. I'm t Have you ever seen anything so embarrassing? No, but uh, I'll tell you one thing. We have run into this man before. We've seen each other before, haven't we? Correct. Yeah, it's true, true. And now my mind casts back on itself, and it strikes me that I, <laughs> it may be a little uh, foolhardy of uh, me and myself to mention it today, but didn't I whip up on you last night? Yes, you did. So, well, it was your fault. You were out of line, waving guns around and everything. No closer. All right, listen. Put the gun away and state your problem. You're dangerous men, both of you. And one of us is going to get you, too, Pally. That's right. Now, see? You should have never let us spread apart like this. The only thing you can do is you can fire, and you can hit one of us. And when you do, the other's going to be right on top of you, and it's going to be one heck of a mess. Now, what's the Israeli word for uh, peace? Shalom. Shalom, that's the one. Now, shalom being the watchword of the day, let's all join hands, make a circle, and circle around dancing. A uh, little Laura there, and we'll sing shalom. Oh, I quit. That's the end of that, man. I really... I'm too old for these kind of games. Every time you turn around around here, somebody's popping out of the woodwork, you might as well have... Wait a minute. Nothing under there. Did you get anything? I'm afraid to look. Just the four of us. That's all. Yes. How are you? You're the other guy from last night. The ground rules for this meeting are simple. You'll talk to us. You'll tell us what we want to know. Nothing more than that. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Uh, what if we don't buy your ground rules? You know the answer to that. The fact you have the same interests that we do labels you agents. And cynical enough to know individual lives are really not so much. What's important is the assignment. All right. As long as we're talking about ground rules, let's kick around here. Who's who? in the world of what's what. Now, you guys are Israeli nationals, also your agents. Your assignment is something like the one that kidnapped Eichmann out of Argentina, right? You're supposed to find him and bring him in for trial. It's a deadly game, isn't it? You would know. We know. Now, a man named Rienzi, a woman who called herself Gerta Schloss. Do you know who they are? What exactly was your interest in them? Let me make myself quite clear. It is not our intention to waste time here. What happened at the death camps 20 years ago does not have too much importance these days, except to some. To us, obviously to you. 
Well, look, if you want to be nicey-nicey and friendly and all, which I know is the way my partner and I would like to have it be, why don't you put the guns away? Very well. But understand me. If whatever you say turns out not to be true, somewhere, someday, surely, somewhere in the night. Look, uh, I know it's difficult, but try to get it in your head. We're rooting for you. Then tell me what you've learned. All righty. Nothing. How's that? Not a thing. Look, we were instructed to pay Gerda Schloss $50,000 for a list of war criminals. The woman died before she could give us word one. That's it. That's all of it. Feeny, nothing. But she'll go on looking for it. Yeah, that's right. If you find the list before we do, we could discuss a business arrangement. Forget it. You live in a wonderful country, but sometimes a democratic country and its desire to avoid injustice. All right, listen, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Now, assuming that we find the list and the people on it, then our justice uh, is just going to be a little too slow. And time has a way of tempering your punishment. My people cannot forget. Our punishment would be swift. Biblical. An eye for an eye. Exactly. Uh, you guys have to understand me. We're working stiffs. We're, we're not judges. Once upon a time, gentlemen, more than 20 years ago, there was a whole world beyond your experience. It was outside your imagination, but it existed. And in it, were the death camps. They must be avenged. Well, I'll tell you, Pally. Like my friend says, if we get lucky, it's gonna be our way. Then you are our enemies. And that's too bad. For you know how we deal with our enemies. She says, she says, by the seashore, she says, 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 she Lino says it was from the house where she was born. It will be very nice for Lino to have. Lino? Hmm? Hey. Oh, now, come on, now. Hey, listen. I've been thinking, and I've got a wonderful idea. What is it? Well, uh, mostly I think we ought to kind of keep in touch with each other. We ought to write letters. About what? Oh, about the way you feel and about uh, how everything's going. We could even sort of uh, say things to each other that uh, we wouldn't ordinarily say to anybody else, you know? Ask advice and opinions. What do you think of that? I guess so. You guess so? Well, all right. If you don't want to. Yes, I think that will be very nice. All right, fine. Cal, uh, give me a pencil. So I'm going to write my address down so you can have a place to write. Oh, you do not have to do that. You do not have to write anything down for me. Just tell me what it is until I remember it. You forgot. I can remember anything. Mother never had to write anything down for me. She tell me what it is until I remember it. I see. Well, listen, sit down here for a second. Uh... Can you remember uh, lists? Yes. Lists of people, Lino? Yes. OK. What people? I cannot tell you that. Well, uh, well, why not? Mother told me never to tell. Never. OK. Well, let's try it this way, then. Then I'll tell you the name, and you tell me if it's on the list. What about that? I suppose that would be all right. All right. Uh, Rienzi, that name. Mm 
Rienzi, yeah. We really must be going now. Uh, please, Sister Agatha, don't ever open that door that way. If you open doors suddenly around here, there's always an evil man standing behind it. Is this some kind of game? Yeah, well, you could call it a game, yeah. They're very punctual at the convent. They're expecting us for lunch. Could you please finish talking to Leno in the car? Yeah, I'll take that. It's a child. It's a child. Well, I will surely kill Sinan. Leno? Come. Leno. Will it be all right? Say it. Need I? Close the door. That poor child. Pardon, pardon, pardon. pardon. Excuse me. Sister, please, would you sit down over there, please? What are you doing? We're looking for Leno, sister. But that man took her away. I will not sit down until you tell me what you're doing. Twice now, Scotty and I have been talking about something, and somebody, someplace, somewhere, has been tuned in on what we were saying. Anyway, that's what we're, uh, that's what we're looking for. There's a microphone, and it doesn't look like we're going to find it, so, uh, what we're going to have to do is, Scotty and me are going to take to the streets in a couple of minutes and, uh, ask some questions. Because we know a lot of informants around this area. And, uh, We'll try our luck. If I were you. Uh, with your connections and everything, I think it would be an excellent idea. Uh, if you would uh, sing. Sing? Sing. Uh, something uh, heartfelt uh, from the soul, so that everybody up there will know that uh, you are in a lot of trouble down here. And then he thinks he will be okay. I can trust you and rely on you, I know. Just sing, sister. Please help me. I don't sing very well. You know, at the convent, mostly I hum. I'll try to remember a song my mother sang. Hush a bye, baby, I'll run, run. Father's a minor plan, plan. Mother works all day, a la 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 la. Soon she'll feed her baby, ya, ya. When I was little. I know that mic pretty good, man. It's got a short range on about 50, 75 yards. So if it's any place, it must be around here in the building. Yeah, tapped in on us from here. Yeah. All right, let's go hunt. Okay. Other things I learned, yeah. So sleep, my little one, Chachi. Father will watch you, a la la li. Mother will too. Ha la 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 la. Rest your little head. Rest your little head. So da da. So da.
plan? Yes, sir, I have a plan. It's called do unto others as they can keep on doing to you. Okay. Right? All right, good now, now, listen. This guy keeps popping in and out of doors, shooting the brains off of people. I think it must be done unto him. Okay. Well, what's the plan? Well, it's a little, we'll mix it up with a little of Joshua fitting the battle. Yes. Now, let me be Joshua this time, okay? Is that right? Yes, because I played him in church. Is that right? right? That's right. The walls covered? Uh, on top of the reverend and everything. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, listen. Uh, <clears throat> three minutes. Three minutes. All right. Now, now listen. There's a little girl in there. Yes, right. Josh. Rest your little head, da 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 da. Sleep without dreams, I'll run, run. Sleep in sweet peace, long, long. Why, mother, hold you, we love, love. In her soft arms, sleep, slow, da. Leno? Listen, honey. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be coming for you. Don't worry. I'll be coming for you anytime soon now. I know where you are. I'll be there to protect you. I'll be coming in soon, Shug. Don't worry about a thing. All right? Okay, here I come. <laughs> Oh, hey, how are you, huh? Mother huh? You all right? You all right, now listen. Did you tell him anything? Sister Agatha, you are one of the great shouters of our time. However, Whew. oh, yes, it's wonderful. Okay, Josh. Wonderful. I want to thank you for your work. You want to blow your horn again, please? Drop some walls on these people. Oh, no, it's, uh, this is right. Uh, these are the children of Israel. So you found him. Found who? The man you've been looking for. The man with the list. Is that who you are? Tell me who you are. What is your name? Peter Carl. Peter Carl. The name is well known. You've been looking a long time, Peter Carl. For over 20 years. The list. He doesn't have it. He's been killing people all over the place trying to get it, but he doesn't have it. He's right. I don't have it, but I know who does. Who? Is it worth my life? Try. Perhaps yes, perhaps no. She does. She has it all in her mind. She has memorized it. She knows every one of us. Do you? Oh, oh, I won't. I promised my mother I would not. Your mother? Who is your mother? Don't say one word to him. You don't have to say a thing, all right? All right. Her mother was Geta Schloss. Geta Schloss. Her child. To have such a mother. This is a terrible thing you're doing, telling her to be silent. This is a child. You know what I mean. You come with us, Leno. But I do not want to. You will have to, Leno. But I will not tell you anything. Hold it! All right now, gents, what happens? One of you shoots me, my thumb has got to come off of this hammer. And the kid dies. 
And along with her, everything you want to know. All that you've been looking for dies with her. Forever. So now, what happens? You answered that. What happens now? Wait a minute. Wait, I got an idea. Listen, let me talk to him for a second. Please. I know. Listen, honey. A very bad thing happened a very long time ago. Now, there's no reason for you to understand exactly what went on. Not yet. Maybe when you're a little older, somebody can explain to you exactly how bad it was. Some men were mixed up in this whole thing, you see. And you know who they are and where they are. And that's the list we want. My mother said... Your mother is dead. Now, there's no one for you to answer to anymore. Except you. Except me. Nobody really talks to me except you. Now, let's get out of here, because they don't know how to act with all these guns and everything around here. Yes, I would like that. Okay. See, nobody knows how to talk except, you know, like the two of us together. Not like us. Right. Okay. That's my man. You know anything about guns? This one's a beauty. It's not loaded. No, man. Never with a child in a room. Are you kidding? You don't have to sing anymore. Thank you. The child. Oh, she's a, she's fine. She's right out of here. Oh, I prayed all the while I was singing. Yes, well, you prayed good. They never let me sing at the convent. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I can understand. Oh, Lino, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. Is it all right if she listens? Yeah, sure. You better get the pencil and paper and write this down. You won't remember. There are so many names. I have a pencil. Isn't that pretty? It's lovely. Come here. I'll show you. It writes in four different colors. It's red. You press this and it's green. And then blue. Let me try. All right. Peter Carl was turned over to the proper authorities. As you know, it was truly. Hmm? Report, how's it going? Everything's all fine. Did you mail the list? Uh, well, uh, actually, a funny thing happened on the way to the mailbox. I ran into uh, Ted Barchett. He was uh, on his way to the post office with a bushel basket full of postcards for his kinfolk in Israel. And you asked him to mail it for you? I thought by the same token, if the man was kind enough to. Offer, I would let him mail it. Of course, I did keep a copy of the list in case the letter should get sidetracked to Tel Aviv. Good thinking, good thinking, Hobie. Where's Leno? Uh, in the room with uh, her lady friend there. Of course, you know, it's been a long day, so the convent will have to wait. Mr. Robinson, you, and the other lady. The one who sells seashells buys the seashore to seasick sailors and shell-shocked soldiers. <laughs> I can't say it. Will you teach me? All right. But very slowly. She sells. I'm telling you, man, that child is going to turn the convent upside down. <laughs> 